YouTube, it's Rob. I have a, another video here. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, Olivia Johnson. Um, I'm glad that she she stepped up to the plate, um, you know, to say something. Uh, there's just a couple things, though, uh, that I want to share, though, about that. Because, I, I mean, I'm getting trolled, which is fine. But I'm not really going to waste my time with trolls that much, um, like I used to. Because, believe me, I, I like I like messing with trolls. But I want to kind of stick with people that actually have some knowledge about, you know, this. And trolls don't. They just they just think certain things and then they just argue with them and that's it. They really don't know what the hell they're talking about or doing or anything. So anyways... <clears throat> Uh, Olivia Johnson says, I'm working on a geology degree, and a lot of the questions you have can be answered in a few entry-level courses, given that you are open to the information. Okay. All right. That, Olivia, that's, a, that's actually condescending. And F2, you're assuming. You're assuming I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. It's condescending because you use the word entry-level, Okay. Um, there's something about me you should know. Okay, I, I'm not I'm not your regular person here uh, that has no knowledge of uh, plate tectonics or geology. Okay, I I grew up uh, interested. I had a, I was fascinated by geology and plate tectonics. So I spent my you know when I was in elementary school and junior high and uh, all I did was study about uh, plate tectonics plate tectonics on my own, you know, just on my own time. And so you're not really you're not really talking to somebody that that has no knowledge about this. And and the other thing is is actually I I was all into that into plate tectonics and all that all the way up until about well a year and a half ago when my open mind saw some discrepancies from what I was taught, you know, when younger, when I was younger. And this is where I'm going to have to. Ch you're going to be challenged here because you're going to have to open up your mind because yours is you're biased. I can tell you that you're biased because you're making assumptions. You're biased about what I know, and I mean, you actually even said, you know, if you pursue that route and don't try to take in new knowledge, which I already know that knowledge. Okay, so I'm not. I don't really need to take in new knowledge. Um, I can only assume, and you are that the, this video is part of a social experiment to see how people react to new ideas or you're just jaded okay I'm neither of those all that is wrong what I am Olivia is I'm open-minded and I'm not biased and my I'm which allows me to see things that you can't see you you and and all the rest of the geologists cannot see this planet a certain way because you've been taught that it's a certain way, another way, and that way is wrong, and I'm going to prove that to you, okay? And I can do it, like I said, I can I can disprove plate tectonics, and I can do it really easily, actually. And I shouldn't be able to, right? I mean, if if your if your belief, because this is a belief of yours, it's just not a science. You claim that that I'm not scientific. It's you that's not scientific, actually, because you you actually have now made this a belief of yours just like a religion okay and just like a religion uh, you know there's there's some inaccuracies that you're not dealing with here and you don't want to either and I, look I can I I have no problem with the condescending and all that stuff because right there I, I would have done the same okay because if I if I felt like somebody was attacking my belief system and all that I would definitely have you know you know copped an attitude or whatever so I'm not, I'm not blaming you or, or angry or upset with you <clears throat> because that's natural um, though with the other trolls though it's not natural those, those guys are just being stupid and, and they can't see logic so they don't really they don't really stand a chance here actually of actually growing from what I'm gonna show you all right let me show you this Right here is Google Earth. The other claim that you made is that you said that I cannot use, and so do the other trolls. This is what I find amusing, so amusing, that I cannot use images off of Google Earth. 
okay, that I can't um, wind them up. Winding them up doesn't mean anything, okay, to you guys. Maybe that's why you can't see this. Because it sure does, actually. Um, if you would have told that to Charles Darwin and told him that he wasn't scientific because he was drawing pictures of finches and comparing their beaks and comparing different body parts to different species looking for similarities just like I am with uh, uh, land masses and, and land features well I mean what would he have thought if he told him that back then okay for one it's just that you gotta understand I don't think you realize what science is science science is about observing things it's it's all about it actually I think it originated from that making observations of differences and some similarities that's what science is okay for people to tell me that it isn't is just a desperate attempt to discredit me but it is desperate and it's an attempt but it's not it's not gonna work though but here I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to discredit plate tectonics which is a hundred and four year old theory that has actually done nothing okay you guys can't solve earthquakes you can't fit you guys you guys uh, don't you can't predict an earthquake which is an important part of science is predicting things and and this is pretty important I mean you know come on you guys have it, nothing's changed for seismology the only thing that's changed is your guys's tools you guys got better tools now than you did back then and you guys are must be fulfilling your own prophecies because it's wrong I mean I don't know how you guys can support your claims but uh, I'm gonna show you just by a simple observations how your theory is wrong okay right here you got two plates you got the I think this is the Eurasia plate and this is the Pacific plate um, according to plate tectonics this is a subduction zone right here which means that this plate is being pushed from the mid-atlantic ridge is pushing it or something it, well basically it's pushing everything is pushing it and because of pressure it's pushing this plate and it's diving underneath this plate because this plate's supposed to be actually lighter than this plate even though it has all the mountains and continents on it and this has nothing but water this also has water on it too by the way and and inside the continents so I don't know how they realized that uh, this is heavier than that but it doesn't really visually support that and the other thing is is uh, the fact that you guys think that uh, molten lava is actually pushing these plates apart in opposite directions op <laughs> opposite directions um, uh, that's kinda weird too because uh, molten lava is like like oatmeal and I don't think you could push two giant plates um, away from each other with oatmeal consistency I don't it just doesn't seem possible okay I know that you guys claim that that it's not just that it's that the as this plate is subducting the weight of it is pulling the rest of the plate with it okay For one I don't see that's possible because this is floating on top of everything here so I doubt that it, the weight of it's gonna actually just dive and pull it all with it two this doesn't look like it's even colliding. It, it doesn't look like a collision, and it's and it's diving into the you know molten iron core, which I might add can't produce a magnetic field like you guys claim. Molten iron or even hot iron doesn't make it doesn't produce molten it doesn't produce magnetic fields. So there may be iron down there, but it's not what's making our magnetic field. So you guys really need to really think about that because that's simple basic science, okay? Now, I'm sure you guys will come up with... You guys got... The one thing I'll give the government and stuff is they got great damage control. They got people... They must pay a lot of money to figure out how to throw people off when they're onto them, you know? Or when they come up with a, a reason of something, you know, then they, then they come up with damage control and come up with some weird excuse why something is. But, you know, whatever. Okay, so if, you, if this is a subduction zone and this plate is being destroyed underneath by the molten iron core, then there should be no relationship between anything on this side of that plate from this side of the plate.
okay? Well, I'll be honest with you, I don't think this is a subduction zone. I know, that's a shock, right? I know I, this is going to sound incredibly impossible, but that's because of the biasness. This looks like, well, I believe the Earth is in layers, for one. And this looks like a layer. And it looks like it's split open. And it looks like it's been split open because it's been ruptured by the, a larger underneath layer, I guess. Um, the Earth has increased in size, and it's ruptured the outer layer. And as it's ruptured, it, it's pulling it back. It's sliding back this way. Okay, now you claim, oh, well, there'd be marks or something. Well, there is. Here they are. See these lines? These are the marks. They are marks of sliding. Okay? As a matter of fact, I, they also mean that wherever they're contacting, those areas were connected at one time. So if you look at that, you kind of can see how it goes like this, this, that, that, everywhere. Yeah, well, that's because this is a rupture, and it split everything away. And if I'm right, well, then this rupture, this layer, actually, and the reason I think it's a layer is because, look at this. You got this slapped on top of this because you can see that this goes underneath and this is laying on top therefore it's a layer okay there's the scars going underneath you can tell that that's what's happening so what makes you think it's any different over here I'm sure you guys got data and all that but guess what if your data doesn't support the observable evidence then your data is being misread something not right on your guys' part not not mine so anyways if this is true if this is sliding back and um, well whatever made this from underneath should have been left over here as it slid away from it so therefore if I can if I can line up any of that this stuff over there whose theory do you think this visual observable evidence is supporting. Do you think it's supporting plate tectonics or do you think it's supporting mine? It'd be supporting mine, right? We'll just get that perfectly clear right now so there's no mistaking because I want to show you something apparently that you guys haven't looked at in your, and especially in your entry level uh, geology classes. Uh, the, this is more like an advanced which uh, <clears throat> I should mention that uh, yeah I already did so <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay, well, let's go to the next thing. Let me show you my, my proof. Okay, here's the other side of that plate, or the other side of the subduction zone, I mean. Over here, way over here. And here is the Pacific plate with the scars and, and Hawaiian Island chain and stuff. And to show you that, that there are the correct sizing, you can easily tell because the edge of the planet lines up with the other image. That means that this is the same. So this is to, to, to a proper scale. Okay, now let's start here. I want to start by um, showing some things about this area. Now, I don't, this is a crater, obviously. Now, I can tell you that this is not made by a meteor because just by looking at the shape of it, I mean, I'm sure some people would kind of think that, well, maybe a meteor came in at an angle and bank shot it off our planet and maybe collided with the moon or whatever. I don't know. Well, if this is a meteor, it'd be a good sized meteor for one, but two, the shape of it is just not right. Okay? And I don't see a meteor laying around here anywhere. But what I do see is a lot of rippling. A lot of uh, texture right here. You see that? And they always they're, they're kind of following a pattern. Well, when they follow a pattern like that, they could be very easily uh, solved, I, in my opinion. You, patterns are good. They reveal a lot. They're not to be ignored. Okay, so what I'm proposing is let me just start lining this up first and then I'll tell you what what I think is going on 
Okay, well, we got some lineups here. You got this looks like, well, it looks like that. Kind of hard to tell. I know that. It's all right, though. This is not, <laughs> not nearly the best of what I got. But you can see that there. And then... You can see, okay, there's a little bit of lining going up here. I'm not really concerned with this, though, but I just, you know, pointing out the little things first. And then... Okay, let's see here. As you can tell, I'm just going right off... <laughs> with no no preparation by the way okay you can see that there's patterns here these lines and stuff like that well they do line up actually if you take a look you got you can just see there you can see there okay Let's see if we can line this up here. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. This is pretty good, actually. This is like a, like the same thing as a fingerprint. The, the uh, ridges line up. This would be a match. The, I mean, this wouldn't be like two separate fingerprints that look similar. This would be like, this belongs to this. You can tell. Now, I realize that's probably not good enough because, uh, you know, I mean, that's... But I have, uh, I guarantee you, you don't have anything like this in Play Tectonics that lines up this good. I guarantee that. But because it, this is what I call a recurring pattern. And it means that they are related. And I have a feeling that if I was to flip this, this would line up over here too. Which I probably do later. I'll... Right now, I kind of want to work with this this way right here first. You got here. You got to remember that this is also moving, by the way, or else it, they wouldn't have been separated. And there, it's also spinning too. You're probably gonna have to get your um, geology teacher on this, Olivia, because this is more like an advanced course than than your entry level. You can see that uh, we got more alignments here. As a matter of fact, let's back out so we can get a better picture. Okay, I can tell that this needs to be rotated. But let's see what we got first before I do that. you can tell that this is related right here you can see that these these textures line up okay you can see that that is a damn good piece of evidence right there okay by anybody's mean you know terms or whatever you can see that these these ridges they line up they do I know one thing you can't do is prove that they don't line up. That's what I keep trying to tell these trolls that keep trolling me that, I mean, it's, I don't really, they're, they're no match, that's for sure. But the problem is, is it gets annoying when people can't grasp what you're showing them, you know, and then they, they, they and then, then that's their strategy. Pretend they don't know what you're talking about. Therefore, I'm going to be wrong. Well, that's not how it works. There's smarter people than, than those trolls around that are seeing this, and they know I'm right, like, like this. And here's the thing. If you were to do this overlay yourself, you'd see it even better, and you'd know I was right again. Okay? Now, I, I would challenge you, Olivia, to go ahead and show me what kind of entry-level geology uh, information that you got that explains this. 
See? You see that? It doesn't get better than that. Well, I mean, it does actually, but not for uh, play tectonics. See how it matches right here? I'm going to have to take a little bit more time with this video because I want to make sure that you guys get it. And um, I have no problem with you getting your teacher involved in this. Actually, I kind of hope you do. It's just going to show – I, because I, I want to show people that, that I'm right and that there's something wrong with our, our, our mainstream science is, is wrong. It's, so there's something wrong with it. There's either – either they're deliberately misleading people or they're just dumb. That's going to be it, you know, because look what I found. This is – this can't be debated. I mean this is – even though these are images that are overlaid, that's okay. That's, that's, that's how, how it works, you know. That's my proof. Okay, and then you got – you can see how it lines up in other places. But the really interesting part though it is Hawaii. Okay. Because it lines up in multiple places. You see that? Okay. Then you move this across or you swing it across and you can see it lines up. Okay. You see that? You can tell that this is related anybody can tell and you don't need a degree that's the other thing is I don't need a degree to know no play tectonics and geology um, it, it's kinda lame that that society has to tell you who you can be you know by what degree you get and, or they they tell you they tell you how how much you know or whatever you know because if you don't have a degree with them then you you know don't know much I guess but here we go Here's a guy with no degree in geology or se uh, seismology, and I'm showing you guys something you've never seen before. I guarantee you've never seen this line up like that before. Your 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 biasness won't let you see something like this. This is why you can't find it. Now that I'm showing you it, it's going to be like a uh, I don't know, like a conflict in your mind, I guess, by now. You're probably thinking, well, this is impossible. No, no, this guy's, he's delusional. You guys, you know, all kinds of stuff. Well, here's the thing. They line up, and that's all that matters. It doesn't matter what you think. These line up. Think of anything you want. It doesn't change the fact that this lines up. And these lining up proves at least it proves by your guys' account on what you guys are saying this is this uh, um, subduction zone is it proves that that cannot be a subduction zone that stuff on the other side of that subduction zone can't be linked to this side now I'd love to hear why you guys think it could I don't I think you guys are just gonna basically uh, just try to attack me as a person maybe is your best that's your best argument right there is to go ahead and go after the fact that I don't have a diploma or, I mean not uh, or I don't have a degree I have a diploma but uh, uh, look at this right here it just matches up it just does and you, there's no way of getting around that people see the, people watching this video can see it lining up okay so you kind of – if they see it lining up, then they're crazy too, right? But we're not. This is lining up. It's weird that people would see it lining up and still argue against it. Like like you have no argument anymore. You saw it line up. You're done. It's it's a done deal. You see how it, continue, it continually fits in multiple places because this area is obviously made by – a disturbance something's disturbing it and I think it's rotating and I can tell you what I think it is and I can show you what it is actually hold on let me get the other part of this okay um, so if this is lining up over there okay um, let's say that you do come up with a, some kind of weird reason why this happens well, let me take this a step further. Well, then what are the odds 
of any of this lining up over there. This is uh, basically the other the opposite side of the planet, okay? This crater and that crater couldn't be any further apart from one another on this planet. Let me show you what happens next when I take this area and I bring it over that same area. Okay, here we go. Here's Let me just show you that these line up so that you know that they're the correct size. Okay, here you got the Himalayan Mountains, that crater again. Um, let me just show you, okay, you see, I want to show you something first though. You see this thing right here? Let me just show you. You can see the shape right here. Well, I want to show you something. First of all, you can see how it lines up with this. Obviously, I got to rotate it. If I rotate it, this this line right here is going to line up with the markings there. But you can see that fits into there. And uh, that's another thing I'll have to show you, uh, maybe if I get to it in this video. But here we go. Here's South America, Antarctica, and this disturbance in between them. First of all, the Himalayan mountains shouldn't be lining up with that. This lines up no matter how close you get and it lines up in every little pocket. You can go ahead and double check that or you can just go ahead and look at it right now and see for yourself. But go ahead and double check it though. I would love for that. And then um, you can see how you got this area right here. You see that? Okay. Now, with that area lining up, here's that crater. Now, you can see, okay, you can see these multiple layers. And watch this. Let's see if I can get the right one. Right here is good. You see this? Look at it. Like this is the opposite side of the planet. Lining up here. Lining up here. You know, I showed this to those trolls. It, see this right here? And they didn't get it. I can you not believe? How could you not see this and get anybody with any bit of knowledge in geology or uh, plate tectonics right now should be tripping out because it. You don't have to be very smart to know what this means. Look at how this lines up here. You think that you guys have anything that would match up anywhere on this planet like this in in, in plate tectonics? I've seen what you guys can do with South America and Africa, and I'm not impressed. Compared to this, this is like, this is, this is uh, beyond anything you could you could imagine. This is this is science right here, by the way. This is this is how science is done. And then if that doesn't get you, well, then you got these ripples here lining up too. Here. You see that? Looks like a spillover, doesn't it? It's because that's what that is. And I have more evidence to prove that. So, Olivia, I'm going to tell you right now, I have so much evidence of uh, what I'm telling you that you there's no chance no chance that uh, plate tectonics or geology is going to, you know, win this debate. I can guarantee you that. I'd bet money on it, okay, because I, I can tell. This is just something I know.
So you're you're working on your degree. Well, you're probably the luckiest geologist uh, in training right now because right now you're getting information no other geologist gets. See that as alignment? That is Antarctica. That's that. That's its um, shorelines. That's its uh, coastline. You want to know what made this planet? I'm showing you what made this planet. You see this? This is that uh, uh, overspill. Remember? You, can you see that there is a story emerging right here? This is something you guys don't know about. Look at that. Um, this is that same crater that fits. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe I should have showed you this, too. Inside this crater fits this other inner crater. It fits exactly. It's not almost. It's not maybe. It's exact. This is an exact match. There's only one way that this could be an exact match. Anybody, okay, anybody watching this video, come on. You guys got to know that there's only one way that this could match this well. And that's if they're related. These are opposite sides of the planet. This also will fit if I rotate it because this thing was spinning. This thing is spinning and it's, it's what's causing this turbulence. Okay, and I'm going to show you what was spinning in here. This is going to, this is, this is, this is important, you guys. I mean, like, I can't even believe that people argue me, argue with me on this. Um, it fits there, there. Now, it also fits here. See that? See how it goes to a tip? See that? That's to a tip. Put the tips together. Boom, you've got a 100% matchup. Here's the Himalayas lining up with the turbulence here. As you see how I pull it through, it lines up. Do you get the, you're going to start to see a picture here, I know it, despite your biasness. You got to realize that, uh, Olivia, you're pretty lucky actually. <laughs> Like I said, there's there's no geologist student or geologist that knows this yet. You're you're, I guess you're probably the first one. And now you know something about this planet they don't, and this is a spillover. Why do you think this looks like this? It's spilled out. This is. This is a uh, I well. That my theory is that this is a vortex and that uh, this is probably the top of the vortex here and that as it sucks matter off of a brown dwarf star I'll just put that in there it sucks it up like a tornado and then it comes out the top and flows right over and starts to solidify uh, from the absolute zero cold of space I guess it's pretty cold actually but what you're seeing here is you're, I can show you image by image how the planet was created because all these are reoccurring patterns all coming back to here and here just like the opposite side of the planet does South America or India hmm I think I could show you what made that Actually, I know I can. So anyways, let's, before I get a, out of hand here, because um, every time I do this, I, I get, I, I'm blown away. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You see that? What blows me away, though, is that the, the trolls can't see it neither, <laughs> or, or they just can't see it at all, you know? It's just, and then they argue with me over this, and they, I'm like, God, if they only knew how fucking stupid they were. I mean, they don't know this. I, I don't know. It's weird when I show somebody this, and they can't see it. It's weird. It starts to feel like the twilight zone or something. Because this is a no-brainer. As you can see from a distance to up close, no matter how close you get, this is going to fit perfect.
Okay, you see, then when I put this up, you can see the turbulence here. Okay, it's spinning. It's just spinning, I'm telling you. You see that? See that? See it again? The tip of South America. Right there. I can tell I need to rotate this a hair, but you can you got it. You can see what I'm showing you. I can't I mean this is already taking too much time and um, I don't want to sp I mean I'll make other videos so that you can see the rest of this stuff um, but uh, that's fucking good right there right Ram. Wow um, geology is getting a lesson today I hope you show this to your teacher yeah, here you go there's that that bring it back then there's this. You see how it's moving all along? Guess what made that too? See how it lines up here? You think you you actually can think that this is a coincidence? You can see what made that. Move it up here. It's just so easy. You see this? This is actually going a direction. Because believe it or not, this is that direction. So here we go. It's like step by step. See these the, this ripple? These ripples here look a lot like this. So this is rotated. I guarantee you if I rotate this, this is going to line up in here. But it rotated. It is going this way. Let's just keep it simple. Lines up, boom. Lines up, boom, boom. Boom. No, oh, boom here first and then spill over. Got it? Now, if you think that's impressive, just wait. There's more. Actually, I just looked at the time on this video. I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to look at that. I gotta cut this. I gotta cut this one short because um, it's already too long. But I'm gonna make a second video for you, okay, Olivia? Part two. This this is, this should give you enough right now to 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 think about, okay? And um, you know, don't attack me because this is uh, this is going against what you believe. You gotta open your mind. Because the mainstream science is wrong. It's it's absolutely wrong, and it's the it being wrong is affecting society. It, it it's it's not a good thing. We need to know the truth. People need to start looking at reality the correct way. Because there are things going on right now that uh, I believe could uh, pretty much well be a genocide or you know something like that. And I think people need to wake up and see that they're being lied to. They're being lied to, or or could mainstream science actually be this ignorant? All right, thanks, and I hope I hope you get this. There's more though. I got more, so you know, wait till I show you the better stuff.